Colin Tizard, who horses uh, hit top form in November. He says the horse looks fit and he's not missed a day. He's got cue cards box as well and I'm sure he'll live up to those expectations. He's been finishing the gallop strongly and Colin said when they finish the gallop strongly up that uh, north face of the Iger down at his yard, they're obviously well in themselves. He's 4-9 favourite. Conversely, Kitty Sart, his trainer, Ben Pauling, often says he needs a run f uh, to come on for it. He, he generally does, that's, that's right. He's had, I think he's had four seasons race. He's finished second on each occasion, so he generally improves. He's got some course form around here. He chased home Count Mary Bell in a novice hurdle a couple of seasons ago. Again, he was progressive over fences last year. Not quite in the same class as, as lost in translation, but he ended the season also at Aintree with a win over three miles one. I thought he improved for going three miles, so remains to be seen whether back to two and a half will suit him here. He's got an entry in a Labrooks trophy. Whether that's a stepping stone to that race, you know, we'll find out. But again, he was a high-class novice last year. Yeah, he's got ten lengths to find with the favourite. He's rated five pounds in fear, receives a couple. Count Maribel has won a couple of races in the past here at Carlisle, notably the novice handicap earlier on on the card, and he goes well fresh. Yeah, he's won first time out for the last two seasons. He's three from three at the track, gets on well with Mark Grant. Strictly on figures, he'd have a bit to find off 146, but... This is almost like his Gold Cup. I'm sure he'll be more tuned up than the other two. Um, the fact he, he is good, fresh. He's already beat Kildesat over hurdles. He's got an entry in the Bet Victor Gold Cup. And apparently they struggled with his uh, with sore shins last season. Well, we saw what a difference it made with Vindication yesterday. So hopefully Count Mary Bell will improve again today. You know, I, just don't, I don't think he's in the same class as Lost in Translation. But if he's ever going to beat it, today could be the day getting weight from him. It's 13 years since the great Monny's Garden won this race for Nicky Richards. And Nicky's got my old gold in this one, America up against the Geldings and Colin Parker he used to be the head lad many years ago for Nikki's late father Gordon as well. Yeah she didn't start racing until she was a seven year old when she won a couple of points in Ireland but she's made up for lost time two wins over fences won a listed chase at Perth at the back end of April probably be tough for her today even though she's getting weight from from all the rivals this looks a stepping stone to the listed mayor's chase back here on the 1st of December. 2-1 to one on 2-1 to one on lost in translation for the Colin Parker Memorial then uh, Plenty of money up for grabs here. Thirty thousand pounds. Here's Alan House. So we're about to move into line for the feature race, and they're off on a scent on their way for the Colin Parker Memorial Intermediate Chase, over two and a half miles, and lost in translation. The hot favourite strides off with an early three-length lead as they approach the first fence from Count Maribel. And Kildesart in the green. Brilliant jump there from the leader. My old gold rather pecked on landing at the back of the field. Quickly they're gathered up by Brian Hughes as they race towards the open ditch. So it's lost in translation. On settling down the leader by four lengths to Count Maribel. And he lands over in second. Kildesart to the outside of Count Maribel as they come quickly towards fence at number three. My old gold, the back marker of the quartet. Now the run towards the open ditch, which will be fence number four. Lost in translation on his seasonal debut, a high-class novice from last season. Last out when winning in grade one company at Aintree in the mild May novice chase over a bit further. A runner-up in the JLT at Cheltenham the time before that. Showing the way on his return to action from Count Maribel and Mark Grant over that open ditch in second place. And my old goal closing up to the inside of Kildesart as they race up towards the fifth. Lost in translation. Steadies and what a super jump there. He took off almost outside the wing. Absolutely lost his jumping. Lost in translation. Bowls along at the head of affairs. To Count Maribel. And about three or four lengths away. To Kildesart under Daryl Jacob. And my old gold toward the far side there under Brian Hughes. Running up the straight then towards what will be the last. Next time around, fence number seven this time. And here's Pricks, it's lost in translation. It continues out in front. So Count Maribel is over in second place. Count Maribel is trying to make it four out of four here at Carlisle. Oh, it's a track record over the two and a half miles. I've been one on this card in that new track record 12 months ago on this program. Killed a start toward the outside of my old gold. Kildesardi was three wins from five starts over fences last season, culminating in that grade three handicap win at the Aintree meeting. And just last of the four, My Old Gold is one of only previous start here at Carlisle and was last seen in action winning in a listed mare's chase at Perth 
190 days ago. So they begin to swing into the back straight then. He's made every yard so far, lost in translation. Chased by two and a half lengths on the run down towards the next fence. To Count Mirabel in second place. My old gold and killed us out racing wide apart, uh, sharing out third. So they head down into the dip then and make their way towards fence number eight. The two fences before they run into the back straight proper. It's lost in translation. He maintains his lead. Of about three lengths over Count Mirabel in second, killed us out toward the wide outer of the mare, my old gold. At fence number eight. Once again, tidy in front here, the leader. Lost in translation, he really has jumped so well all the way around so far. And another brilliant jump there. His jumping really has been of some notes. Count Mirabel in second, killed us out in third. And then my old gold. Over towards fence number 10. Lost in translation. Two length leader from Count Mirabel. He took a small chance with that fence. Killed us out in third, then my old gold. As they run towards the open ditch on this part of the track. There's Robbie Power on board, lost in translation. Over the ditch and by still about two to three lengths clear. To Count Mirabel and then killed a Sartan, my old gold. At the final fence on this line. Lost in translation. Still travelling strongly at the head of affairs. By about two and a half lengths. To Count Mirabel in second, my old gold. Moving up to the inside of Kilda Sart. The four runners only covered by a few lengths as they make their way towards four from the finish and the Colin Parker Memorial Intermediate Steeplechase. Lost in translation, has made every step of it. From Count Mirabel in second, fourth in the end, the final open ditch. Kilda Sart lands in third with my old gold as they now begin to press on towards three from the end. Lost in translation, a couple of lengths leader. To Count Mirabel, Kilda Sart and my old gold. Another super quick leap and a fantastic stride there seen by Lost in Translation. Took a couple of lengths and a bit more out of Count Maribel, who now for the first time has come under a bit of pressure. Then My Old Gold and Kildesard. They run towards two from the end. Lost in Translation in close there. He was clever. He got away by a couple of lengths to Count Maribel. He's sticking to the task. Kildesard is trying to come with up with something now. Then came My Old Gold. Here's the final jump. Lost in Translation again. A super quick jump there from Count Maribel in second. Robbie Power has a glance in behind. Count Maribel's hard at work in second, whereas lost in translation is Billy gone through the gears here. He's going to race on clear at the line to win with plenty in hand. Lost in translation, a super comeback. He's won the Colin Parker Memorial Intermediate Chase. Beat Count Maribel, killed his start in third, and my old gold was last of the four. Lost in translation has put up a quite fabulous round of jumping to win for Colin Tizard and for Robbie Power and very much he's now going to be a major player in the big races through this jumping season. No doubt time to reflect on that later.